All right, DFW DJ School, your boy DJ XL right here with your DJ tip. Today's topic, we're going to cover uh, corporate or wedding playlist and incorporating those into your Serato crates. Hope that makes sense. So we're going to take your playlist and put those into your Serato crates and how to do that in an organized manner. So let's start from the beginning. Let's say we have a bride. Here you see, uh, go to the top. Our bride was uh, on March 8th of this year. Um, she requested, believe it or not, 95 songs, which is a lot, uh, more than I normally get. Um, normally, uh, most brides will do 40, 50, just to make sure they get some of their favorites in there. But this bride was pretty particular. She wanted to get uh, a lot of her country favorites for her, for her parents in there, as well as hers and her friends. So we've got all our, all our requests right here. The next thing I would do is accumulate these songs. If I don't already have them, I get them from iTunes or from a legal subscription service. And once you acquire them, you want to import them into your Serato. Now, I have a, uh, a video on how to import files into your Serato, so that's already been covered. Um, if you need more information on that, then check out that video. But I have a folder here that I call Mobile Event Folder. And like I said, this pertains to weddings, corporate events, or what have you. So all the songs that I need for that event are going to be in this folder. I, I search for them in a search bar, and I drag them to this folder so that when I click on this folder, all my songs are here, and they're ready to go. I have the songs for the ceremony, uh, which in this case, there was just two. There was the bridal party song that they came down to, uh, which included the parents. And there was, the, of course, the Here Comes the Bride um, for the bride. Uh, for the reception portion, um, I have these numbered, which is a good thing to do, to number these in the comment section in the order in which you'll use them so that you could click on them and, and I have them, have them there in order for you to use. Um, so we start from one, which would be the Bruno Mars Marry You int introduction to the reception. Number two on the, on the itinerary would be the first dance, then the cake cutting, uh, the bouquet, the garter rem removal, the garter toss, and the last song of the evening. I have all these songs here at my fingertips. So when it's time for these uh, to come up on the itinerary, I have them here and I have them ready to go. There's no searching. There's no diddly deadling around. I have them ready to go. It's great to be organized and have this stuff ready. I cannot emphasize that enough. As well as these requests. Because um, once you get started into the dancing portion of the evening, you can always arrange these by BPM. So as you get the dancing going on the dance floor, you'll see which songs are closer in BPM with the others to keep the dance floor going. Of course, some of this doesn't translate because uh, you don't really want to mix country. I don't recommend it anyways. Um, so uh, ignore the BPMs on the country. But arranging your dance music by BPM will group them in the, in the easy to follow pattern, if you will, to where you they're easily mixed and you, and you can easily pick the next song. So these, it's just a tip. Um, I hope it helps out a lot. Um, weddings are very difficult to do, so make it as easy on yourself as possible. Be organized. And one way to be organized is to have this stuff ready to go. DFW DJ School, DJ XL, DJ Tips. Practice, practice, and then practice some more. Please like our video, subscribe.